about that we just cut out uh the video had cut out so um let's go back to our um we're back at our stripe dashboard we're trying to ensure that the transfer had happened and so the first thing we want to actually do is we want to go to payments check our payments so 250 dollars somebody purchased starry night the product as we can see it was jado that user um and so we have we got 250 dollars in our stripe account for that uh and then if we go to connect and we go to <coughs> oh excuse me and then we go to transfers we can see we transferred 225 dollars to that seller and so um yeah so that's kind of the process the stripe connect process of uh, how the the flow of funds should be working so basically we we took in 250 dollars as a platform <laughs> And then we subtracted some of the fees, the seller fee, and we were able to pay out or transfer the remaining funds to the seller. Uh, so that's how that's working. Um, it, to be honest, that's, yeah, that's really the, the gist of the application and what we were trying to accomplish. Um, other cool features I can show you for the Stripe Connect is, so if we log out, uh, log in as a as the seller. We'll be able to log into our Stripe Express dashboard as well. So if we go to View Balance, it should redirect us to our Stripe balance. So all right, see, so, so here you see uh, our balance is two hundred twenty-five dollars, as we had just received a payment for. We've received that transfer from the platform itself. Um, and we receive daily payout, so um, they will receive two hundred twenty-five dollars uh, in their bank account, usually like within the next day. So yeah, that's the entire uh, Stripe Express um, flow of funds using Laravel. Um, I know this tutorial series was a bit all over the place and was a bit lengthy, but I hopefully got the message across and you know this tutorial series is a lot better and uh yeah a, a lot but uh has been done a lot better than our previous video on stripe express with uh using php and laravel um because that that was just done very very poorly i didn't put the proper amount of energy and time into making a good video in that and so uh, I'm, I'm glad i was able to do that in this tutorial series so um if you guys have any questions, you guys can, you know, leave them in the comments. Um, but, um, yeah, I have the repo that you can access this boilerplate code and uh, check out and test for yourself. And, uh, yeah, thank you. I appreciate uh, following along for the series. And uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy. Thank you. Bye-bye.